so because of our program which we have today so we a little bit delayed and we need to open all the windows because, because now we're going to be full and, this. and somebody go outside and request them not to be so loud in the, in the passage. And also the doors have to be all open. Can somebody bring my shoe? Yes, Brahma. Thank you.
No, Krishna consciousness is a feminine movement because it is being led by the supreme servant of Krishna and her name is Radha. Krishna сознание е такова движение, което е било предводено от най-близкия слуга на Кришна Рада. She knows exactly what's right. Тя знае много добре кое е правилното нещо. She knows exactly what is the good thing for us. Тя знае най-добре кое е най-доброто нещо за нещо за нас. She can help us. She can forgive us. Тя може да ни помага, може да ни прощава. She wants to take us to Krishna. И иска да ни отведе при Кришна. This is truly her desire. Това е нейното истинско желание. She also sends tests. Тя също ни праща и различни тести. Do you really want Krishna? Сигурни ли сте, че искате Кришна? Do you want something else? Или искате нещо друго? And if you want something else? Ако искате нещо друго? And then we get something else. Тогава ще ви дадем нещо. And you stay more alive in the human being. И ще останете повече жив в този материален свят. Sometimes in life you try to get something and there's no way you can get it. Понякога в живота се опитвате да достигнете до нещо, но няма начин да го получите. And then another moment of life comes. И в друг момент от живота. And the same thing is made so easy for you. Същото това нещо е много лесно достъпно за вас. You're passing a different moment of the test. Просто минавате в друг момент на теста. Кришна Кришна може да ви даде всичко. Но може също и да ви отнеме всичко. Но Кришна казва в Бхагавад Гита, For my devotees, I preserve what they have and I carry, I carry what they like and preserve what they have. За моите последователи, аз давам всичко, каквото мога и отнем всичко, което бих им отнел. So, the real secret of this transcendental philosophy is that we need to accept the divine guidance. The divine guidance is making us happy. The divine guidance is coming from uh, inside of our heart and it is also confirmed from the Holy Scriptures. In other words, the, the transcendental guidance for us is not speculative. It is based on the transcendental parampara coming down from Lord Krishna in the Bhagavad Gita. So we are very lucky that we have Srila Prabhupada in our life. He really came to make our life perfect. Той наистина се появи тук при нас, за да направи живота ни съвършен. And like we discussed this morning, he sacrificed so much for us. И както обсъждахме вече тази сутрин, той пожертва толкова много за нас. And now it is our time to sacrifice ourselves for the benefit of others. И сега настъпва времето да пожертваме себе си за добруването на другите. And for that purpose, we have received the mercy of the Saint Kirtan Yagya. All what we do in this movement is connected to the Saint Kirtan Yagya. The Saint Kirtan Yagya was created by Chaitanya Mahaprabhu himself. He and his devotees have set the example for it. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu went all over India taking the message of love. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu распространил из цяла Индия посланието на любовта. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu did also uh, sent his devotees to every nook and corner of the world. 
Той също изпратил своето последователи във всяко едно кътче по света. Like Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur said, my mission is to establish a temple in everyone's heart. Както Бхакти Сиданта Сарасвати Тахур казва, моята мисия е да създам храм в сърцето на всеки човек. So this is our real hope. Това е нашата истинска надежда. Not bricks and bricks and iron beams. Не само метални пръчки и тухли. Or name and fame or money. Или слава, пари или име. I mean, we have to admit this material world has too much money. And the people are crazy after it. Sometimes they kill each other over the money. Yes, kill. Take another life away to take his money. Can you imagine this? And there's so much money that we can squander it. I don't know if the figures figures are accurate, but some person said with five percent less spending of of the American USA military budget. Военният бюджет на щатите се намали с 5%. Only 5%? Само 5%. That we could feed every hungry child on earth. Ще може да нахраним всяко едно гладно дете по света. Give them all a place to study. На всички ще им осигурим образование. And every homeless person in the world can have a place to stay. И всеки един бездомник ще има място, където да отседне. Something like that. Нещо от такова. It's so immense. Толкова е огромно. What what we need is not so much. What we have is too much. But if the rich people don't want to share their things, on the contrary, they think that we can make more money if we take advantage of the indefensive position of many other people. Те си мислят, че могат дори да направят повече пари, като се облагодетелстват от беззащитната позиция на другите. Не можем да разбираме, че не имаме нужда от много. Тогава разбираме, че ние нямаме нужда от още просветление. Какво ще направим? Ако искате да направите другите щастливи, Then you have to live by some standards. The worship of greed. It's, it's everybody's participating. It's the same story in every country of the world. Find the palaces of the rich. Винаги ще откриете мурците на богатите. The miserable houses of the poor. Разнебитените къщички на бедните. And sometimes they are door in door. И понякога те са врата до врата. On one side you have these luxury apartments with the billionaires. От едната страна имате тези луксозни апартаменти на милионерите. On the other side, on the ground, you have like a real misery place, like a favela in South America, and there yes, the people just living in ugly shacks. От другата страна ще видите едни такива разнебитени колиби, в които, както в Южна Америка, живеят хората просто така. Duality, contradiction. Дуалност и противопоставяне. But voluntarily sharing is very rare. That only those two who want to get the name of fame for being a generous contributor. Само тези които искат да да придобият славата на един стедер благодетел. Not for charity, but for fame. Не толкова за 
The actual political system of justice simply simply shines by its absence. And corruption all around the world, that is the normal procedure. И корупцията в целия свят е просто една нормална процедура. So when we talk about conscious art, we are always talking about something like denouncing the abuse of power. Така че много често когато говорим за съзнателно изкуство, говорим за това да се отречеш от експлоататорската способност на властта. We don't like injustice. Ние не не одобряваме несправедливостта. Through art, this should be expressed. And people can benefit from this attempt. Then we can see the results very quickly. You can only get what you give. Можеш да получиш само това, което можеш да дадеш. Write it down. Запишете си го. You can only get what you give. Можеш да получите само това, което сте способни да дадете на други. If you do not give with love, ако не давате с любов, then you cannot get anything. Тогава нищо не може да получите. So in this way, we in this world make so much competition. И по този начин в света създаваме толкова много съперничество. It is very ridiculous. Това е много невообразимо. They say good fences make good neighbors. Казват добрите огради създават добри съседи. So that's what that's where the walls came from the Berlin Wall. Ето така възникват стените като Берлинската стена. And you think that we should have become more intelligent. Who knows where the last wall was constructed on the world in this place? Who knows? On the earth. Who knows? The latest building of a wall between two countries. It's between USA and Mexico. I think they want to compete with the Chinese wall. So they exploit Mexico 100%, but they make a wall that Mexicans cannot come into the US. Many, many people have died trying to go to the USA. So many have risked their life to come to Europe from Africa on boats. So much cruelty is going on. People want to get out of one place and they are ready to pay any price. Coming, coming. Program went on until what time? Tomorrow. Tomorrow is going to be again. 
Now, since you have arrived, I want to read something to you from this very famous book of India called Bhakti Ratnakara. Throughout the night, Sri Janava Devi sat awake in the early morning. Then she slept for a few hours. At that time, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and his associates appeared to her in a dream. She was very happy to see Sri Gaura Chandra. With his beautiful clothing and curling black hair. Gadada Pandit was on his left side and Nityananda Prabhu on his right. Sri Advaita Acharya, Sri Vas Pandit and others were in front of him. Sri Advaita Acharya, Sri Nivasa, Vili, Od Negovata, Pred Negovstari, Pred Negovstari. They began Sankirtan and Sri Gorachanda was the first to dance. Followed by the others. Sri Janava Devi became enchanted by this vision of her dream. Govinda Das, Madhava Ghosh and Mukunda Dada danced madly as they sang to the accompaniment of various musical instruments. So this dream came and then it faded away, bringing her back into misery. By the will of the Lord, Janava Devi controlled her emotions and spoke to no one about her dream. She consoled Sri Ishana in many ways, saying that Sri Nivasacharya would soon arrive. After passing two days in Nadia, Sri Janava Devi went to Ambika, where she cried emotionally as she visited the various places. Frequented by Nityananda Prabhu and Lord Chaitanya. She had stayed there for one day, according to the will of Lord Gorachandra. The Vaishnavas who lived near the bank of the Ganga came to receive Sri Janava Devi. And she went directly to the house of Udarana Datta, where she decided to stay. A large crowd assembled there to meet Janava Devi. She passed her time remembering Udarana Data, who was a dear disciple of Sri Nityananda Prabhu. She 
uh, from Udaranatata's house, Janavadevi boarded a boat and went to Kardaha. The residents of Kardaha were very happy to receive Sri Janavadevi and she joyfully went her, her to her own house. Ganga and Virchanda Vira affectionately fell at her lotus feet. Ganga Her eyes filled with the tears of affection for the children. Sri Janava Devi then bowed down at the feet of Vasu, Vasudeva Devi and the crowd that assembled there enjoyed the loving reunion of the family members. Sri Vasuda Devi inquired about her troubles and was very satisfied with the report. Sri Ishvari Janava Devi then ordered Nayana, the sculpture, to begin with the deity of Sri Radhika. Janava Devi was a spiritual master in our lineage. Janava Devi At some point she was the leader of all the Vaishnavas. Because she had been with Lord Nityananda. And she was the Lakshmi. So the, the goddess of fortune has come to this world to bless us. So really this is the point why I say this is a female movement. In the spiritual world, the leading the world is the old female. The gopis of Vrindavan, they are the ones in charge. Then we have Purnamasi, Mukarai, the grandmothers. Nobody argues with them. Then we have Srimati Yoga Maya. She conducts the whole Vindavan affairs. Then you have Vinda Devi who decorates the town. Then you have to ask the Shakis, the eight most important gopis, plus all the other 108 gopis. And then you have, of course, Mother Yashoda, who is always in charge of everything. So everywhere you look, there is transcendental representative of the divine service. They're all female. The male people? Krishna is Ishvara Paramah Krishna. He is the supreme male. Krishna is The other male there is friends. But, but none of them figures as such an important person. Even his own father, Nanda Baba. Krishna is always preaching to him. Sometimes he's is co correcting him. And of his friends, Krishna's naughty friends, there are some stories of their pranksters. 
Има толкова много истории за техните пакости. Мадо Мангал was very favorite, favorite for Krishna. Но Мадо Мангал, който е бил много любим на Кришна, is always famous for eating too many sweets. Той е известен с това, че винаги си хапва малко повече сладки. And who uses all his Brahminical knowledge just to get more sweets. И използва цялото си Брахминско знание, за да се докопа до още повече сладки. And then the other male devotees. А останалите мъже ученици. Хепшес. Very happy to serve Krishna. Те са много щастливи да служат на Кришна. They don't overshadow him. Те не го захлупват в сянката си. Баларам и can overshadow Krishna sometimes. Но Рада Рани може да каже. Баларам. Баларам понякога така може да измести Кришна. Because he's the elder brother. Защото той е по-големият брат. So being the elder brother. А да бъдеш по-голем брат, по-голем брат. Sometimes he can correct Krishna also. Понякога той може да си позволи да поправи Кришна. So he's definitely the exception. Така че той определено прави изключение. Just like Lord Nityananda is the exception in Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's leader. Бог Нитинанда е изключение в хилата на Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. But then Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is Radha and Krishna in one person, so it's again Radha. Тогава Chaitanya Mahaprabhu с Radha и Krishna в една личност, така че отново става въпрос за Radha. And even Lord Nityananda becomes an Angamanjali in the in the divine service of Radha Krishna. И тогава Бхагнитинанда става Ананга Манджари в служенето си към Радхи Кришна. I cannot understand these things, I just tell you what I heard. Не мога да ги разбирам тези неща, просто ви предавам това, което съм чул. But I must say I like it. Но трябва да ви призна, че ми харесва. It sounds amazing. Звучи невероятно. So there is this divine female power in the movement. Така че има тази божествена женска сила в нашето движение, която винаги се грижи за нас. Дори се грижи и за Бог Кришна. И не само това. Заради женската енергия, седемте майки, that everybody in this world can get the grace of Krishna. Именно заради тази енергия всеки един от нас може да получи милостта на Кришна. So there's nothing surprising here in this situation. Така че тази ситуация няма нищо изненадващо. Therefore I also don't want to make declarations of black and white standards. Затова също не искаме да правим декларации за такива черно-бери твърдения. Но когато се стигне до това да се приеме под слон и да се поддържат нещата добре организирани и чисти, тогава жените са много важни. Тези, които могат да се справят с това. So be happy by looking care, looking after all the female devotees. What to speak about your own family. Whatever comes to you, whatever test comes to you. You can rely safely on the female divine power to control everything. Even if everything goes wrong, the blessing of the Lord must be hidden behind. Thank you so much. I hope you will understand this message. And we'll take shelter of Shrimati Radharani's lotus feet. That would situate you in the highest position possible to achieve in this world.
Any questions? Yes. Thank you, Maharaj. Uh, the the Vichyama Krishna. We travel the most to the Rava. Как бы получим на это место? She doesn't want to come out in the front. But she is the divine power behind everything. And mysticism means understanding something about the divine powers. Those who don't understand the divine female power, they cannot understand the proper interaction with others. Те няма да могат да разберат правилните взаимодействия с другите. So it is a great honor if somebody can be engaged in the service of Radharani through any of their expansions and, and faculties. Така че е голяма чест, ако някой успее да даде служене, да даде служене на Рада през нейните експанзии. The door is closed, the oxygen is gone, people don't listen to what one says. That is the problem of Kaliyuga. Memory can last only five minutes. <laughs> yeah. Slowly, slowly you can cut the, the air with a knife. Anyway, other questions? Chan, I have such a question. As you deal a lot with South American indigenous cultures, mm -hmm. and you have experienced uh, exchange of knowledge with uh, local tribes in South America. Uh, what do you think about uh, their practice of uh, ayahuasca? <coughs> it is a uh, ayahuasca is not taken by most of the tribes. There are sacred healing plants. The coca leaf is one. The tobacco leaf is one. And several other healing plants, of course, are there. Sanke de Drago is one of the most popular ones. Sangre de Drago. Krafta na Drago. And then there's Aloe Vera. Then there's Unia de Gato. So, is. Is there such a great array of Ayurvedic medicines? So, particularly, ayahuasca is not figured as a healing plant. Actually, the ayahuasca plant, if it is taking at micro doses, and just the plant, nothing else. It, it doesn't create intoxication. So it's very possible that some of the medicine men would also use it in, in extreme cases. But the majority of the Natives of South America don't take it at all. That is one aspect. Some of them actually prohibit the taking. But 
in the in the cultures of the of the past there are so many uh, peculiarities for example magay do you know what's magay magay is a very big plant it's a kind of a miracle plant so you can with from this it has leaves which goes like one meter fifty long but it also produces in the leaves a certain type of alcohol and some people take that alcohol and they say it's great and they become drunkards but because it's a gift of mother nature they think it's good but there's also people who reject that so the, the native cultures also have their intoxications and their pleasures and their this and that so we should not make the mistake that because Germans are sometimes intelligent we all must drink beer uh, uh, this, is, this is not an intelligent conclusion. <laughs> so you have to be very tolerant. But the commercialization of ayahuasca, taking it together with other al alkaloids, producing the drug called DMT. That is considered very dangerous. And this has very much to do with the astral planes. But this is something which uh, is not advisable. And when we are coming together, uh, we, we reject taking any kind of intoxication. But I do have some friends, they're actually traditional ayahuasca priests. And actually they are healers. And from them I get my information. And they say, don't mix your fingers with that. If that something happens where there is not a real expert, such a trip can go very wrong. And I've seen that myself. <coughs> Situations which involve dying, going crazy, losing one's identity for years. So in this way, uh, If somebody, you just mentioned five, uh, th hundreds of years ago, they don't even know what's a pharmacy. And the local medicine man, he knows all these potions. And he, he cured somebody. So naturally they will call it a curing plant. Like belladonna, it's a very poisonous plant. But in homeopathy, it becomes one of the most important healing plants. And the knife in the hand of a kid can create a 
a fiasco. And the same knife in the hand of a surgeon can save somebody's life. So it's something like that, very delicate situation. And this modern fashion of of taking medicine drugs and thinking that they will get illuminated by doing so. I have met hundreds and thousands of people who have taken ayahuasca. The majority of them could not even understand from ayahuasca that they should be vegetarian. But it is becoming quite popular. But it's also under the law of uh, prohibited intoxication. So actually these people are making <coughs> ayahuasca sessions. They're going against the law. At least in Germany, I don't know what's in Bulgaria. So we should be careful. There is not there is not such a thing where you take a plant and then you will become enlightened. We worship Tulasi. Tulasi can bless us. Tulasi is so important for us. But we don't hear that. Tulasi is uh, doing some special activity in the Vaishnava community. Connected with the intake or eating of Tulasi. Actually, Vaishnavism works on a much higher principle. It's completely vibrational. You know, when the people take ayahuasca, first thing, all of them get a bucket. Because they start vomit, vomiting like, like they have... Uh, like all the intestines were to come out. And then they also get diarrhea. So it's very strange. But in our association in the world conscious path, these, these subjects are not really sub subjects. Do we want to be guardians of Mother Nature? And we should care for the things which are all concerned with us. When the natives in South America meet each other, the first and foremost thing they do is to give gifts to each other. You cannot even talk to somebody unless you first have exchanged gifts. But what are the gifts? A little, a few coca leaves. Or maybe a stone, or a crystal, or anything you have given from the heart. So in this way, there's a lot of their, their proper culture. 
But that what really has them happy and intoxicated is talking about God and chanting to Him. That what they do. I, I once spoke with one of the chiefs of the Abhyayalas, the Panama Colombian Abhyayala Konas. <coughs> he was already 95 years old. And we became very good friends in one of the meetings. So I told him, so what are you doing there, Vida? He said, oh, we all go in the temple. And what do you do there? Well, we speak. And we sing. So I asked, so really, did you do that every day? And I asked, what about intoxication? He said, no, is it prohibited? I said, what, you never take alcohol? And then he looked at me and said, once in a year we have a feast and some people drink some alcohol. The rest of the year they're all sitting there and listening and singing. <coughs> and they're very intelligent people. So, there are so vast amount of people, and some of them are already very influenced by the West. That it's sure that you can find complicated situations, which are not so perfect. But just like the, the world is declaring national parks. Oh, it is a national park, we have to preserve this. In the same way, all the areas where native people are, are living, they should be declared territories of, territories of their own. The, the natives, they don't have property titles. The elders decide who cultivates which land. And who can construct a little hut for his family. <laughs> and if somebody dies, they're always looking that the land will be kept being cultivated. <laughs> so, the Western system which, which was put upon them, it, didn't, it doesn't really work. It's based on corruption. Their system was based on, based on wisdom and kindness. So then, uh, nowadays, the last trick is the government is giving them titles for their land. So that's what they do. They get a title. You are the owner of this land. The natives never asked for their title. And then when there is title, before they just went and stole the land, now they go and, and pay money. To destroy those communities. That's what we are also defending in Equashen. 
When we spoke, speak about the original law, we also speak about the original people. Obviously, it came from them. So they wanted to have their securities built into the idea. But their consciousness and ours is that we are all natives. Just the fact that you look so European doesn't change the fact that you're not a little daughter of Mother Earth. And the more we talk about the more we apply it. We learn to appreciate all these things. Just like we appreciate alcohol. <coughs> alcohol has many medical usages. Such a powerful ingredient which comes which is produced <coughs> by any fruit. <coughs> Even though it has very dangerous effects also. People become alcoholics. More questions? That's okay. Will you repeat to my search? Вика-ма. Mercy is always available. God can give you mercy at any moment. And whatever karma we carry, yes, it will bring about some suffering, but we see that as a blessing. What else can we do? Better you see it as a blessing, it's easier to carry the load. There's so many strange karmas. The most amazing karma is those who are beautiful and rich are still not happy. <laughs> So then what about those who don't have money and they look a little bit like this? <laughs> they probably have more chance to be happy. So the quest for happiness is very crucial. And the quest for happiness is only possible when we honor the original law. And in the original law, we give our fullest respect to our Divine Mother. And we are very lucky that we have so much information about her. And the information we have of, uh, over the Divine Mother, it is so amazing. Even though her, new, her uh, aspects are unlimited. In the natives, native cultures of the, of the world, they all have a concept of a Divine Feminine and a Divine Masculine. 
в всички, в тяхната култура винаги присъства аспект на женската божественост и мъжката божественост. И обикновено е замесена една любовна история между тях. Like sometimes like in Mexico there's a Popocatépetl. Както например в Мексико има Popocatépetl. And next next to him is Itzcoatl. И до него е Itzcoatl. And then their husband and wife. А те са съпруги, съпруги. Mm, they have a long story boy. Там има една дълга история между тях. And the same is them with so many other mountains. So the uh, the divinity in the divine and masculine form that is personalism. Means God has a name, God has a form. God has a world of influence. And if we understand that, then we know that these traditions have a very important revelation. Otherwise, how did they find out about this? Иначе как ще се разбрали за всичко това? В Вриндаван ние също казваме Раде, Раде, Шиам. Всичко се върти около Божествената двойка. И какви са особеностите на Божествената двойка? Божествената женственост винаги иска да прославя Божествената му мъжествена. И Божествената мъжко казва не, не, не. Тук величието не е при мен. Дори при теб. И тя казва не, Don't come with that story. We know that you are the Ishvara, and you are the Ishvari. Yes, but you are more important. No, you are. It is an eternal pastime. And when we go against God and come to the material world. Идваме в материалния свят. Everything is exactly the opposite. Където всичко е точно на обратно. I am the most important. Аз съм най-важният. Ау! Не! Ми! Аз! The fighting starts. И започват караници. So this is something very important to understand. Това е нещо, което е много важно да бъде разбрано. The divine feminine and the divine male. Божественото женско и божественото мъжко. It is a principle. Това е принцип. And that principle is divine father and mother goddess. И това е принципа на божествената майка и баща. But because they are so elevated. Но защото са толкова издигнати. Sometimes. Понякога. We do not conceive father mother position of the divine. Не може да възприемем тази They are sometimes more removed. Super parents. But it's not denied that their procreative power brought about our existence. In other words, these natives without the Vedas в тази книга местното население без ведите have a theology which is very amazing притежава теология, която е изключително невероятна a cosmovision very amazing една космология много интересна ok, it's many cultures добре, съществуват много култури I have always studied little bit аз съм изучавал само малко част от тях of some of them от няколко But I've seen them how they interact with each other. And I've heard the message they have for all of us. And what is their message? 
You want to solve the problems of the world? Then become spiritual again. You want to solve the things with a few university discoveries for permaculture and then we have the whole thing solved? No. Their message is clear, become spiritual. And what is their sign of spirituality? Universal respect and love. Start at that point. In other words, they tell us, will you respect us also or not? And we have been trained not to respect them. Our governments don't respect them. Our universities don't respect them. <coughs> Our industrial exploitation does not respect their habitat. So we are living a lie. Like considering the Romas inferior people. Or somebody who has been poor that he is not the same value as a rich man. These are the big mistakes we <coughs> make. Particularly in Christianity, Muslim and in, in a Jewish religion. They don't have a very clear idea about the feminine divine. Uh, the Christians, the Holy Virgin or Mother of Jesus there, have some idea there. Well, in, in some countries people do worship the Mother of Jesus is just like she is the Supreme Bodies. But there is no cosmovision connected to them. It's the Roman Catholic Church which just tells it. Maybe other churches too, but the modern churches don't support it. The Protestant and Calvinistic and uh, English. <laughs> the Muslims, they do not support no, no Father, no Mother God. It is just energy. <laughs> but they can't explain it. We never heard of Allah being married. Allah, Or something like that. So it is that. And in the ta in the Talmud and in the Kabbalah, there is also no female divine power. As much as I know. Maybe somewhere in the esoteric background there is something. And what happened with these religions and the ladies? I don't talk. They are the guilty ones of wholesale slaughter of women. Children, etc. Whoever didn't fit into their image became rejectable material. Not given the consideration of divine mercy. So 
So I think we need that female spirituality. Because it's the mother consciousness. And when you have the mother consciousness, mother just loves all their children. That's her peculiar power. So this was the week of mothers. Divine Mother. And was it celebrated in Bulgaria? No. Except by a few individuals. But the government didn't celebrate. The schools didn't celebrate. Nothing was done for Mother Earth. No, nobody even said, thank you, Mother Earth. Is that true, Mother? <laughs> you think the United States did anything for Mother Earth? <laughs> the same day they have Mother Earth the day, they keep drilling, boring, <laughs> spoiling. So this is our plight in our work. Lack of spirituality. Lack of sacrifice. For the Divine Mother. For the Divine Mothers. So it is our fortune <coughs> to present to all of you the Vishnu Priya Ashram Sofia. This is this place. And if the man in the community they also want to have some command here. In South America we have a, a joke for that. <laughs> if you want to give your orders, then please order your hand. Go deep into your pocket. Find all the money which is in there. <laughs> pull it out and give it to the Vishnu Priya. <laughs> this way your command will be welcome. <laughs> I'm not making jokes. <laughs> that is a sacred, sacred site should be maintained by sacred men with their Sacred donations. For the women, for the children, all facilities should be there. Just like the Is there not enough land and places in Bulgaria? To make all Bulgarian women and children happy? What a chaos is that? That's the duty of the government. Or is the duty of anybody? Otherwise you will leave this world. Without having done the what you should do. Then there's nothing happy waiting for you. Any further inquiry? Sun eating, yes, people who are eating only the sun energy is gaining, gaining more popularity nowadays. Those days in the times we will be promoting, like in future projects, 
и други по същества въпроса. Those are eating sun energy. They should give all their money to the temple. Because they don't need to buy boga. <laughs> so we want to see the first one who is doing it. <laughs> Then we will take interest in their process. <laughs> Otherwise it's just a bogus. <laughs> But we, we like solar energy. It is a very attractive energy. Because we want to preserve the mother nature. The more we can, no? And if solar energy can actually provide heating and What's wrong with this? But if the solar energy only goes to that little children have little devices and all the little children do is punching all day on this little device and they go crazy if you want to take it away from them. And it's better we have no sun energy and no electricity and we, and we go back to play with the things from the forest. <laughs> Because when you play with the things from the forest, it's pretty boring if there's nobody else to play with. But these computers, they suck you in. You start playing and you're an illusion, I become an expert. And you don't know about the relationship with others anymore. It's very dangerous, especially for the minors. Which doesn't mean it does not do great harm to the big ones. I mean, simply the computer and this is, is, is like a, an agent of Kali Yuga number one. Yeah, but I can Skype my mama. <laughs> Then it must be great. Yes, why not? But that doesn't make it less dangerous. Because you can, instead of Skyping your mama, you can be lost from all these holy advices. Second. I don't know much about my guru. He's a Vaikunta man. He's from the eternal plane. But he sent me many people to look after. I could never have imagined how many people he will send to me to work for. I can't tell you more about them than about my guru. And the people he has sent to me here, they are not only uh, people in need. No. They are dynamic powerhouses. They are so potentials of divine love and distribution. I feel dwarfed next to them. And, uh, and I'm supposed to serve them. 
И аз съм от мен се предполага да му служа. Както когато бащата разбере, че синът е много по-интелигентен. At least he feels happy, he says, oh, it's my son. <laughs> but Prabhupada has sent so many wonderful people to me. I am speechless. So this is one thing I can say about him. Because from the first day when I met him, he told me, Give to others what I give to you. I'm trying to learn that. I'm, I'm trying to learn what that means. We were reading in the book Janava Devi Didi. She was having a great vision of the Lord. Always in a dream. Our Sampradaya recognizes that sometimes there's divine revelations in a dream. But it is also treated with a caution of, of, of secretness. You're not supposed to blur out your dreams to everybody. Казваш сънищата си на всички. But dreams may be very important on the path. Но сънищата понякога могат да бъдат много важни по пътя. For some people. За някои хора. I think I'll leave it by that. Мисля, че до тук ще спра. Yes, Акшара. Just one short story. Uh, I would like to share. <laughs> a few years back, there was Radashtami. And I, I was going to print a few posters for the program in the temple. Yeah, and the poster was uh, one uh, very nice painting of Radharani under some flower. And I was coming to the temple with these posters in my hand. And two Korean one boy and one girl stopped me uh, with two tablets in their hands. And they asked me, uh, have I ever heard that actually uh, the Lord is a woman? And they showed me on their tablets some movies which they were made specially to show uh, extracts from Bible where uh, it's really uh, said that uh, the Lord has a uh, female uh, form and it's the highest form. And then I showed to them my poster <laughs> and they were like, Oh, you're a Hindu? <laughs> and then the conversation stopped because this was like they couldn't really speak in other religions. And <laughs> this is what I remembered when you were speaking about how in Christianity they see the female. So the Koreans also <laughs> good to know. I don't, I don't know from where they extract this information. I, I, but that's the University for Ancient Wisdom. We are interested to extract the nectar from all the world which gives support to divine union and divine protection. <laughs> He's going to be the next speaker. <laughs> he will give very beautiful classes. Thank 
you very much and good night. Prashadam. Jai. And tomorrow will be our last day here. So if anybody wants to contribute more to our ashram with some practical service, please come forward. We are still receiving commitments of dedication so that our mission here in Bulgaria can uh, uh, be pleasing to our spiritual master Srila Ask this boy, does he know what is air conditioning? No. This machine makes cold inside. You don't know this? He knows? Yes. <coughs> he knows what is air condition, AC? Yes. Is this your personal AC there? <laughs> <laughs> So he's smiling again. It's a personal AC. AC pads. <laughs> Thank you for coming here. Yeah. Yeah.